So the next thing we're going to do is talk about why we're using the agency child theme in this series. And the first reason is because it has a small business orientation. That is, it has a, a static front page design that is not dependent upon blog posts. It functions just fine without any blog functionality whatsoever. So this stuff works just the way you would expect it to work, you know, nicely with various different pages. Oh, I forgot to mention about agency that they also have a little thing for agency to hook up to WooCommerce. I forgot about that when I was talking about agency. It's not one of the reasons why we're using it here, though. Anyway, in terms of its business orientation, it's a nice, clean, professional-looking theme, and it functions the way you would expect a business theme to function. Second thing is that it's responsive, and as I've already demonstrated, we can take a look at the you know the agency theme in this uh, little demo here, or you can look at it on your own phone or iPad. The agency theme does, in fact, respond to the various browser windows, and fortunately, so does my customized version respond to the various browser window widths. So it's a business site, it's responsive, and it has some actually decent customization options. Alright, the enterprise theme, which is the one I built first. This is the very first Genesis site that I built. And I built it as an experiment just to see how it would all come together. And you know, wanted to make something that was analogous to the class that I taught on Thesis on building a professional website using Thesis. And so I, I like the simple way this enterprise child theme looked. And so I used this as the basis for creating it. However, there's no real good way to change the appearance of the enterprise theme. That is, there's no simple way to change you know, significant colors or significant elements of the theme. Whereas, you know, really, since I've told you this is the agency theme, and you've seen this side by side with the agency theme, you'll recognize it as having come from the agency theme. However, it doesn't, on the surface, look like, like it was built with the agency theme. And that's because there are some fairly easy ways to customize agency that is with background colors, background images, and then sort of the layout of stuff over here that allow you to, you know, make something different out of it than is automatically possible. I mean, make something different out of it so that it is distinctive and unique, even though it is still built off of the agency theme. Now, I was going to mention, you know, you have various ways in which you can configure the header. You have a fairly flexible system for customizing the background images and background color. And then all of these things are actually just widgetized areas. And so you can put just about anything in them. You know, I happened to like the way the one paragraph, essentially attention boxes, the title, image, paragraph, link, look on the home page because that's what we did on the thesis site as well. SBY, let's see. All right, this was the demonstration site for the thesis course that I taught. And again, you know, I mean, this has very significant similar elements to it. And so I liked this kind of configuration, so I wanted to keep on using that. And so that's what we ended up with then, right, is are these little attention boxes. But you wouldn't actually have to do that. You can put just about anything in these widget areas. So you can really customize the way this thing looks a fair bit. Okay, so that's why we use, or that's why we're using the agency child theme. 